Hey friends, here's everything you need to use iodine and fluoride varnish to prevent cavities. How do you use iodine? Well, it turns out iodine, betadine, povidone iodine, there's lots of generic versions, it, I believe is the most widely available antiseptic in the world, not just for surgical scrubs, for all sorts of things. You can get it over the counter at Walgreens and CVS and Safeway and all the places. Um, so. We're just going to put iodine onto the teeth first and then cover that up with fluoride varnish. So you would dry with a two by two uh, and I like to let the iodine soak into my cotton applicator or Q-tip and then I like to find the highest risk surfaces and kind of push there. So let's say this kiddo's really at risk for, at, uh, for interproximal lesions. You can just push that in a little bit there. You can see it. Does that stain long term? No way, dude. So this is what I like to do. And then with some excess, you can roll it all around, roll it all around, whatever you like. Can you put it on the interior? Sure. Will this cause long-term stain? No. Okay, so that was really exciting. And then uh, you can do this by quadrant or the whole mouth, whatever you like, and you cover with varnish. Can you use a thicker varnish like the traditional ones? Absolutely. Can you use a thinner one like this shellac that has half the concentration of fluoride varnish with the same of other fluoride varnishes with the same release? Sure. Whatever you like. Oh, let's not forget the anteriors. Really complicated, isn't it? Cool. That's it.